Sisters, Enriquez for Lithuania has many medals as well. And in fact, all of them, it's great to see some a lot of the real characters of the sport. Says Nadzade from Georgia. Held a silver, the local man, has a staggeringly fast start. Let's not forget Stefan Kire from Germany. Hungary, Kozanski making it through. So we're loving the graphics. And they're very recent, they've just been done in the last day or so. And Rikas Zustastas, desperately disappointed when it came out of the program. It's regrouped. <laughs> Even Jatil. It's quite rare to see him while he's out of headband. He won the gold yesterday. As I'm good from Belarus, can he be inspired by his compatriot? Sazar Nadzade from Georgia really holds together well the, the fighting pose, a real nation of warriors. Held the silver. Okay. Again, been around many, many years. Spanish, what well, you can hear even in the background, you get to see hopefully in the images in a couple of seconds. Pedro looked good in the earlier rounds. Ole Borovic from Ukraine. So they're all dangerous and the weather conditions absolutely perfect. Lined up here for the A final C 100, 200 meters. And the silver is off to a great start. That'll really please the fans. And here we go, Zustastas also in there. We expect to see lanes three and four. Lithuanian Russia really powering through. But at the moment, with the best start, it's held a silver. But even Shatil in lane number four with the white boat is really pushing it out. Artem Kozi also looks like he has a slight lead at the moment. It's slightly difficult angle. Here we go. We're going to straighten them up for those first five boats all within a meter of each other. Coming forward. It's, well, it looks like he leaned back exactly the right time. Artem Kozi, it's all about timing. You need to be in your boat when you cross the line. We have the initial views but it's going to be interesting to see if he actually stay on of the timings and the positions not convincing in a say alone so let's let's just wait and see how it's going to work out Five, four, three, and six. well held us certainly done his nation proud had the lead for the first 60 or 70 meters here judge for yourself certainly in that angle it looks like Bellew is having them on my screen, it's giving it to Lithuania, but we'll have to wait and see if that's the actual case. There's a laser which will, uh, which is a graphics which puts a white line on, but there's actually a laser line. Yes, it's back to what we thought. Belarus had been given it. Shatil comes second, and Henry Kazustasis, as we actually all saw, to be fair, takes the third possession. So Belarus, cracking day here. Missed out in the Olympics, of course, but they're now back and firing. And even Jutil, yet another medal. So it's going to form lanes five, four, and three. Too tired to show his emotion at this stage. What we've seen in the last couple of days is around about this time, the wind has started to come up a little bit. But so far, these are big boys, so I don't think they've been too badly affected. And clearly over 200 meters, it, unless it's blowing a gale, it won't really, really affect it. And 
Davis is going to come in and have a couple of words. There you come. So you can see in the backdrop, this is a great place to watch because it's only about 200 metres away from the actual boatyard. So a lot of the athletes have been mixing it with family and friends. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's another gold medal for Belarus in the C1 Men's 200. Arts and congratulations, world champion. It was a big finish. How do you feel? Ladies and gentlemen, he's out of breath. Put your hands together for our gold, silver and bronze medalists in the C1 Men's 200 metres. So we've seen some of the fastest athletes on the planet here. Artem came through in 39.81, 1.16 seconds ahead of even Shatil from Russia. Give him more motivation in the different team boats. K2, 500 meters. We saw some racing a couple of hours ago. Let's see what sort of form they're in at the moment. Again, it's non-Olympic, but there's certainly quite a few Olympians in this actual race today. Argentina, Spain, France, Russia, Lithuania, Slovakia, Serbia, Hungary, and Germany. And most of these athletes will be fairly familiar. We can look down the list and see who's the best well-known. Probably Slovakia, Vlajcek and Tai. Certainly the most experienced with uh, Toth and Kulafi, also from Hungary, up there as well. Lithuanians have been as a team for many, many years. It's a difficult event, this, because it's partially flat out and partially just hanging on in there. <laughs> 